thank you. It's great to see so many people here today. And you know, the fact that you're here is really important. And I'll tell you why. Because our government has declared war on another country without ever going to Parliament, without ever having any legal right to do that. And you know what's worse? I don't know of any parliamentarian in Canada that has objected to that. Yeah. Outrageous! Yeah. Yeah. I bet you there are a lot of people who belong to the NDP in this crowd. Yeah. Or a lot of people who belong to the Green Party, maybe some Liberals. People who care about peace and who expected their parties to speak up. Not one has! Not one has. And that's why it's so important that we're all out here today and that we come back with more people because we've got a renegade government here that is breaking the law in this country, that is breaking international law under the United Nations Charter. What kind of a government is this that would do the things that they are doing? And where, where are provincial governments speaking up? It's the people of this country, working people like you, who need to force the issue onto the front page of the newspapers here. Not the, not the issue, not just the issue of, 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 of the, of the invasion, which, which. Russia is responsible for, but of the Canadian government's complicity with NATO, with U.S. imperialism, and with the European Union that have provoked this war and that, have, uh, that are endangering the whole world. As we've seen on TV, the fact that there are nuclear plants that, that were right in the line of fire. What do they think is going to happen here? What do they think is going to happen? We know that it would be so easy to start a nuclear war. It's been so easy for more than 50 years. But we haven't seen a government or a bunch of governments that are so reckless, so willing to take such an enormous chance. You know, there's no such thing as a tactical nuclear war. You know that, right? Yes. Once you push that button, that's it, we're gone. That's the end. We have to make sure that Canadians are not confused by all the war propaganda, the war hysteria, which is gripping this country. And where does it come from? It comes from the war rooms in Ottawa. It comes from the Canadian military. It comes from those meetings that Christian Freeland is attending of NATO. They're the ones pushing for war. And the CBC. And <laughs> CNN. So, and the media, all the media. All the media. Outrageous. So we have to warn people that what they're hearing are the drums of war. And of the necessity of working people to stand up and say, no! We do not agree to this war. We demand peace. We demand a peaceful political solution. And we demand that our government fight for that. We demand that the Canadian government stop sending troops to Europe for war. Well, they're not going there for peace, for Christ's sakes. They're going there to make war. And weapons, artillery, military equipment. That's for war. And we're sending money. You know, we're sending a lot of money. And do you think this is for humanitarian aid, my friends? Do you really? Are there any people here who believe that? You know, the money that is flowing into the Ukraine from the capitalist countries around the world, none of it is for, none of it's free. It all has a big interest tag on it. And the lenders are going to, are they planning to make a lot of money? Right? They're going to make a lot of interest on this. I got in my email the other day a note asking me to make a donation to help the Ukrainian army. 
Yeah? Can you believe that? I think that's a war crime too, by the way. So, what are we going to do? We're going to demand that our government stand up for peace, that we withdraw all Canadian troops, repatriate them, and arms, and we start fighting for peace and a political solution. And we, get out of and we come back here as often as we need to do, and we bring all of our friends and relations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your step.